if the world hates you, you know also that it hated me before it hated you. I want you to realize that every true believer should have this experience. If the world loves you, the world did not love your Christ. It means there's something wrong with your Christianity. So when a preacher holds the microphone and is telling you that even Buddhists love my message, Muslims enjoy listening to my teaching. He says, I can even preach this thing in, in a club and everybody will, will learn. Because what he's teaching is how to sell gala, how to attract money, how to keep money, and how to multiply money. You can preach that thing anywhere and men will not be offended at you. But every time Jesus appeared, you will see it there. You will see it shortly. The world hated our Jesus. You know why they hated him? Every time Jesus appeared, the question on the hearts of men was what manner of man is this? They could not understand how. They will look at, other, they will look at men and the first place of comparison was the Pharisees. So they looked at the Pharisees and said, ah, these people say they speak for God. These people are the representatives of God. But see another one that represents God. These ones, you do them anything, they will punish you. You will not survive. But here is a man that comes and says, love your enemies. Pray for them that persecute you. Love them that despitefully use you. So when they looked at him, they were tempted to call him God, but he himself called himself the son of man. He was fully God and he was fully man. He operated in this realm like man. And he could not understand what manner of man is this. This Christianity that has been sold to us in the body of Christ, where we are hearing words like influence, dominion, blessing, and success, that does not align with the scripture, is a lie from the pit of hell. And this is why many people that are coming out of the Christian space do not have the capacity to survive temptation. Because the average Christian is struggling to be accepted. He wants to be liked. She wants to be loved. She wants to be pampered. Meanwhile, the world is designed to hate you. It's part of the contradiction you will suffer. True disciples understand this. So a true disciple is not struggling to fit in. He's struggling to burn and shine. He knows that the world in which he lives is in darkness. And only he has the solution. He is the bearer of light. But what we do most of the time is, because we do not know the way of discipleship, we carry our light into dark spaces and then we cover it with a bushel. Because we are ashamed of burning. We are ashamed of shining. Let me say this to you for free. If the people that hated your Jesus love you, it means you don't know your Jesus. Bro, just go and read scriptures. Hmm? People who listen to Jesus, most of the time, they had two responses. It's either people will listen to him, and then they'll be caught to the heart. And when they are caught to the heart, they will cry out, what shall we do? They will repent. Another group will listen to him. They will be caught to the heart. Oh. But their response will not be re repentance. Their response will be, let us kill him. This is what happened to your Jesus from the world. But we, we are trying to be celebrities in this realm. The reason we are pursuing celebrity status is that we do not know discipleship. We do not know this situation. And the church needs to deliberately go back to raising disciples. If they stoned your Jesus and they didn't tell you the day you were getting born again that you are a candidate for stoning, they lied to you. This world will stone you. It is stoning will happen in various ways. But you will be stoned. You will be stoned. The world will find a way to make you feel as if the way of discipleship is abnormal. They asked your Jesus, what manner of man is this?